Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a very free tool that you can use to edit your videos completely for free, except if you want advanced features. Okay, this tool is created by Microsoft and is called Clipchamp. So to access Clipchamp, all you need is to start by coming to your browser and just type in Google and you can go ahead and just type in Clipchamp just like so and hit on enter and it will bring you over to this very platform quick and easy video editor i've used it and i'm completely enjoying it so it will bring you over to this very platform this is clipchamp and all of its features so to start you can just go ahead anywhere and click on try for free you can do it here or you can do it for here of course you have to log in you have a range of things to use to log in either with your google account or with your username and password just go ahead and log in and it will bring you over to this very platform now what you notice is that you can create a new video from scratch from here or you can create a video with ai directly using this and there are some basic editing tips that you can use directly you can do text to speech you can do record yourself you can trim a video and so on and down here you have some inspiration as regards what you can use to create the video maybe you can create a youtube video instagram intro and outro there are some templates that you can use directly and you can see them all directly from here if you're interested to see more of the templates down here you have some videos that that you've worked on this is where you see them now if you like you can create a folder from where you can create a folder and then you can maybe create some can add some media into the folder for a particular project if you want to do that but for this tutorial i'm just going to show you the basics of how you can create a simple video using this um, very tool now you can start from scratch let's go over here and say create a video from scratch and be brought in over to this very platform so the first thing you need to do is to name the video let's call this and then now let's look at the overview of the platform of clipchamp so the first thing you see at the center here is called the, the video canvas this is the preview canvas okay this is where you see everything that you're working on um down here you see the this is the editing timeline this is where you edit all the clips that you have uh, in this editing and over here you have a range of different kind of features for example this is your media place this is where you import all your media and you'll be able to see them here of course you can import the media from different kind of sources either from all of this or from your computer okay or you can record do other things like you can do screen and camera recording you can record and create you can do camera only screen view only or you can do text to speech all from this angle and then you have content library this is where you can have the different contents available for you which are copyright free you can have videos you can have audios you can have visuals different kind of visuals you can see them stickers images videos backgrounds frames and so on you can have them directly and you can go ahead and explore and see how you can use them within your clip and then over here you have some templates that you can work with like we've explained earlier on these are text effects you can add different kind of text if you're interested and then you can add transitions of different types you have different range of transitions that you can add in the video and then this is brand kit this is for advanced or paid or upgraded tool but you don't need it at this moment so over here to the right this is where you can define the type of video you are going to create is it a 9 by 16 or a 16 by 9 or 1 by 1 you can see the preview on the preview canvas okay so you can just go ahead and select the one you are interested in for this tutorial i'm just going to go with 16 by 9 which is the default here now over here there are a range of other things that you can play around with which we are going to explore some of them as we move on in this tutorial so the first thing is we can come back to our media and we can import some media into the timeline you can click on this and we can import them directly from my computer so let's go over to my desktop so i have the media arranged here we have videos images and audio so let's go with video and let me just select any two of the soft of the videos and just import and you can see i've imported my videos they are importing right now so let me import the audio as well as the image so that we can just uh, make progress so let me import some images maybe i can import just two images and then i can import some audio so right now you can see we have all the the media imported we have our video we have images we have audio set imported so the first thing is to import pour the media into the timeline so we can do that by just go hovering over any of the media and we can click on this plus sign and it's going to be added to the timeline or alternatively you can easily drag and drop the media into the timeline just like so and you can align them very easily so you can do that with all of the other features for example you can add the images also by just selecting and hitting on the plus sign and it will just add it directly okay so you can notice that in the timeline we have two things you can have a, another 
you can add your your videos on this place or you can add your text also here you can add your video here on the timeline or you can add you can add your text here or you can add audio at the bottom of this so let's say at this moment i just want to have my videos so the next thing is we can learn to basic editing now to edit the video you can do it in many ways for example you can just navigate using the playhead this is called the playhead as you move around you can select a particular clip maybe you want to cut this video from the beginning to this moment all right so once you're here you can notice the next thing is let's try to do some very basic editings within our video clip so you can do editing if you by using two methods the first one is you can do cuttings at any given point if you decide to create a cut here within this clip you can right click and say split or you can use the letter s and just click and you can see you've just split this clip into two you can move to another place assuming you don't want the beginning of this you can select it and you can delete directly from here right so this is one way you can move ahead to the next one or if you don't want this space you can right click also and say delete this gap okay? and it will delete the gap and you have your video like this for example also assuming you want to delete this section also from here to the end use the letter s also to create a split and you can select this and instead of the normal one that you delete it and you can have the space left out you can undo this and you can right click and say so you can delete also select delete and then you can delete this section as well so you have your clip deleted okay so this one way of creating delete or editing the clip by deleting the section or by creating cuts let's undo this and let me do the same deleting or the same editing using another method we call the trimming method so you can come to the edge of the clip until your cursor turns into this horizontal sign you can click and drag to the playhead or to anywhere that you're interested in creating the delete you can release your hand and you can see right now you've created a trim you can do that as well from this other edge you can drag to any point or any section that you are trying to create the same delete and you can see you've just created a trim you can trim you've trimmed the, the both side of the clip to wherever you want now the good side of this clip uh, of this trimming is that it is reversible you can reverse it by coming here again and you can click and you can reverse to any point of your choice and you can see you can, you can reverse also to the other side okay? so in each case assuming this is what I I want i can just delete this section i can also delete this section directly now this is deleting i can as well i can add in my own the text i can add text also to this clip so the next thing let's learn how to add a text to this clip so let's select everything let's select these two clips and move them a little bit and let me have a little bit of an intro here welcome to my channel hello and welcome to my channel here i can just click to add a text once you click you can see the text editing feature or the text tool has just been enabled so let's say i want a typewriter text here i can just click and you can see i've added it to my video i can click and move it and come over here and i can double click to type okay so you can see it over here so you can type directly hello and welcome okay so you have other things you can change the color of the text from here if you're interested in changing the coloration okay so let's say we can like it maybe let's keep it yellow and then you can change the background color from here of the text also if you're interested and you can change the position you can put it left top right or bottom as you so wish okay so for this let's keep it here and you can change the font style as well as the sizing also from here you can vary it directly so let's say i want to keep it simple and i want to put it so you can extend it to any length you can let's say we want it up to this point to touch here okay? and then it starts from beginning and then it gets to that point so the first thing is when you open your when you start your video and it on the play you can see it says welcome to hello and welcome to my channel All right for example hello and welcome to now just get into your video and you start watching so this is adding text we may want to add a video the uh, we may want to add an audio also at the bottom so to add an audio you can just come all the way back to your media and you can see audio over here you can see i have this audio and i can just click to add it and automatically it goes into the bottom where i have my audio added Added. okay so let's move this and let's have the audio added at the beginning now you have a bunch of controls like for example at the moment if you try to play this audio you will notice that it is very loud it's very loud so you can reduce the size the volume by selecting the audio and coming over to the audio properties over here you can reduce the the volume directly up to some minimal level so when you try to play it let me see yeah so i think it's a bit much better from here and you can do quite a lot of things as regards the audio i think the, the sound is still high i reduce it a bit to maybe 13 okay so let's see 
yeah i think this is reasonable and in this audio also you can do the same editing for example you can bring your playhead here and you can create a split and you can see you've splitted the audio so you can select this um, huge part and delete and now you have just the beginning here now one thing i do usually do is i create i like to always create a fade in and fade out to my video so it starts from zero to then high and then it's when it's going to fade out it's going to start from 100 down to zero you can do that by selecting the audio and then coming over here to fade you can add a fade in a little bit and then you can add a fade out okay so when you look closely you will be able to see okay it moves from zero down to now when it dying out also it will die out gradually yeah that's the idea okay so there's so much you can do with the audio you can play around with the speed also down here you can increase and decrease the speed of the audio directly from here so that's audio and that's text the next thing is we can add some transitions within text within the video clips that we have okay to add a transition in between two clips all you need to do is to come to the transitions over here and you can see multiple transitions that you can work with you can just go ahead and select from anyone that you want okay and just select and then you can just insert but for this i want to select something simple like this swipe left i can just select it and i can just easily drag and as you hover over the two clips you can see this plus sign and you can just uh, uh, add the transition over there now you have the option once you release the transition you can check the transition option over here you can click you can add the duration or you extend the duration directly you can extend it and you can see from the clip over here the duration of the transition is equally extending so let's have a preview of how this transition is going to be okay from this clip just swipes into the next one so you have the option to select or you can change it to any of the available available ones also from here depending on your choice okay you can just go ahead and select play around with it directly extend the duration or increase the duration as appropriate so let's play it one more time you can see the transition it kind of looks fantastic so that is the transition the next one is let's learn how to add in a bureau into the clip okay, into the media into the editing timeline so let's close on this and let's go back to the media over here so to add a bureau bureau is usually a clip that you have on top of the exit existing clip that you have okay so let's say we want to add in picture in this case so we can drag and drop it somewhere at the top here and then we can resize it to any size of our choice so you can hover over it and you can notice that we have this media we have this um, image okay so you can resize it and make it bolder by coming to the edges and just clicking and dragging and you have the option to now it is filling the whole screen okay so down here you can extend how long you want this image to be on the screen so you can make it a bit smaller maybe during your explanation you want something to come up like this so you can make it smaller and then maybe while you are playing the video it just quickly comes on screen and then goes back to the normal um, method okay so it's very easy to add in b-rolls and b-rolls can be a video and it can be image as well if you want to add a video as a b-roll you can just easily drag and drop on top also you can see we've just added it and you can as well trim to the specified location or to how long you want it to be on top of the screen so assuming from here we want it to quickly enter this one and then you'll be able to show the beach and then back to the normal tourist video so it's very easy to kind of add in b-rolls of different types be it image be it a, a video now you can go ahead and bring in different things according to your creation the next thing that how to add some effects into the videos uh, to add effects all you need is to come to effects over here you can click and you can see a range of e effects that you can add directly in your video so it can be you can give your video some touch by adding some effects to it so you can come over select the effect that you want to add as you hover over any of them you'll be able to see the effect for example let's take in this pulse and you can just drag and drop or you can just click it and then you can add the effect so as you hover over any of the effect you'll be able to see the effect is going to have on your video like this one like this rotating feature is going to make your video to appear with this rotating feature and you can see right now this is going to give it a filmic view and this is going to give it a blur view uh, it's going to remove any black and white from the video and so on you can be able to see this preview of what your video is going to look like in each case so let's make it something like this for example and you can increase the rotation however you want 
want it if you want it to rotate a little bit you can increase or you can reverse the rotation as well if it is what you are interested in so that is effect you can add it on any of the clip that you are interested in now let's go another thing you can adjust the coloration from here if you select any clip you can adjust the coloration directly from here for example you can add the exposure or you can the contrast a little bit increase or decrease the contrast let's have it something like this the saturation as well you can increase or decrease it to make it more colorful the temperature you can reduce to make it colder and a bit warmer i think this is okay so the transparency also i don't usually touch transparency if you want blend mode you can check from here as well okay so this is basic as regards what you can do we've talked about the speed of what you can do to maybe you can speed up a clip to make it faster 2x 3x 4x uh, depending but at this moment i don't want to do anything i want to keep it at default so the last thing that i want to show you is you can add in captions to your video so assuming i have a video that i want to add captions on let's say i import this media there's a video that we can usually easily use as an example to add captions on let's say we use this video and we can just import it i have a voiceover underneath it so we can use this drag and drop it here and so i can generate captions for this so select the video we can come to captions over here and we can say transcribe media and you select the language that you want to transcribe the default is english i can just go ahead and say transcribe and it's going to generate the caption for my video you can see in just a matter of seconds it has generated the captions okay you can see it over here everything all the details with the timing it has generated everything this is a transcript so everything is ready and if you want to start playing you can see you will see the caption at the top so let's say i want to play at this point where the caption is students. now when you open your excel you have your test exams attendance and logic photo you want to grade them accordingly. you can see the caption is written perfectly and you can just go ahead and explore it so this you can download the captions also if you are interested in downloading or you can hide the caption at any given point if you are interested now this is the basics of adding different kind of things lastly for example if assuming this is a video that i've just created so let me just cut this try to split here and just delete this section because i don't need it to be this long okay so let's say i'm satisfied with what i have created the little thing that i've created from the intro up to this point probably maybe you may just need to add an outro at the end of it all which i have a video um, that i usually use for my outro so i can click here come back here there's this video clip that i do add for my outro this one epic outro so i can just select it and i can just directly drag and drop it as my outro so once everything is done all you need is to just write the if and it just concludes here and i can select and reduce the volume as well from here from this uh, audio effect okay so i think this the last thing that you want to know, know is i want to show you is how to export the video in different formats now if you are okay with what you have created to export a video all you need is to come to the top right over here you can click on this and you can uh, export directly click to export usually you can export up to 1080p which is HD and it's completely free so once you click it is going to bring you over here one thing to note is that in Clipchamp you, you are free to connect any of these platforms you can save to OneDrive um, to TikTok to Google Drive even save to, to Dropbox directly once you connect to your account so once you are here to just go ahead and download it for you so you can see the it's going to render the video and it's going to export it directly so let's give you some seconds to finish the rendering and then you can see preview of what we have created and what you have downloaded i'll play the video at the end of this so you can see the rendering process is a bit fast and you can the quality is very very fantastic all right so this concludes this tutorial about clipchamp the most basic tutorial for anyone to try for beginners to try to learn the basics to import media to do some cuttings and joinings and then produce your video and export it in the most simplest format i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching please don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep enjoying videos like this and i will see you in the next one bye